Welcome to the Flaming Greek, the hottest cooking show on the planet. Watch the hilarious duo cooking up adventure with the help of the torch. The Flaming Greek and Cami on Foodie TV. www.theflaminggreek.com. Welcome to this episode of The Flaming Greek. I'm Cami, and this is the Greek. How are you, Cami? I'm well. How are you? Good. You see what we have here? A bunch of goodies. I see some cheese, some meat, some bread, more cheese. I'm very excited about this. So, what are we making? It's kind of like a um, lunch dinner. Lunch We're going to do some sandwiches. Like toasted sandwiches. Toasted. We've got some great breads here, the multi grains. So I think before we cook, I think we might want to have a little drink first. A little toddy. Why not have a little bit of a cocktail? Yeah, there's a rumor going around there that there's some moonshine on the set. That's what I heard. So here we have Duchess Spirits moonshine, which is absolutely fantastic. I mean, this stuff is hot. So sweet, it's so yummy. And um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do an ounce, which is four counts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> well, if you want a little bit more. No, 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 no. And um, we're gonna take some lemon lime. So that's carbonated, right, Cam? Yeah, yep. A little bit carbonated. We have uh, some sparkling water here, what so. Is that idea? Yeah, it it kind of like it takes all the bubbles, it brings it up, and it's absolutely fantastic. We have a little. Uh, Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Now that's good stuff, it's right good there. It's good stuff with the kick. And um, this stuff is is absolutely fantastic. I've had some at home, and ooh. Let me tell you, Duchess, top notch. So listen, that goes with anything, really. I you mean, could really, you could really put with orange juice, cranberry juice, um, pretty much, pretty much anything that you want. Whatever is, is to your liking, you can you can throw a little in there, and it's very versatile. So that's what makes it very yummy. All right, let's always keep a bottle on the set. <laughs> it is. It's it's good. Good with a nice mixer. Refreshing. So the best thing about this is it's 100% sugar cane and it's it's processed so well and it's 80 proof, 40% alcohol per volume and I mean this stuff is the bomb. It's nice. It's and it's the trendy bomb. now. It's super. Well, not only that, do you like it? I do. It's um, surprised. I'm very surprised because I'm not an alcohol guy, but I mean you get this thing just right. Yeah, Smooth. just a, just a little spritzer with your dinner and um, you know. It's yummy. It's, it's, it's very delicious. smooth. It's very smooth. Very so what so what could we cook with this today? Well, what we're going to cook with it is is that we have some, as I was telling you, some lunch stuff going on here. So I'm going to get started. We got this pan's hot. Do we need some vanolio to? We're going to use some vanolio. We're going to vanolio the bread is what we're going to do. Let me get this over to you. I'm going to do like a two-part thing here. So I got another pan. I'll show you what to do with this. is going to be used for two purposes. So let's um, oil up a piece of bread. Just real nice. Yeah, to get the whole thing. You want me to drench it? I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. All right, so before we do that, all right, so we got the bread oil up, and I got some saucy sec is what I have, which is a French meat and sec, like S-E-C-C means dry. So I'm going to throw that in there. We're going to get this hot. Mm. And we have some summer sausage mm. here. This is going to be great, Cammy, because the juices out of that, when it starts to bleed, is mm. going to add flavor to the bread as well. So we're just going to heat these up real quick. The skillet is hot, but then again, I'm going to torch it. Torch it. It's a slow torch this time. Yeah. Let's see what it's doing to that. Mm. Mm. Let me wait this stuff cold anyway. All right, so let me get this off here. Now we'll throw the bread on there. 
And so some of the saucy sack, and also, it's not sex, sack, S-E-C-C. -E sack, saucy sack. Yep, and this is gonna be yours, Candy. Remember, I try everything, you gotta try. I do try everything. I know, you do, you're pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, some cheese. All right, so you got melted cheese on there. <laughs> dot, dot. <laughs> All right, so we're going to throw some jalapeno pepper. I may or may not have burnt the bread, but I'm trying to melt the cheese, so, All right, so you never know. You never know. Let's just take this off for a moment. Let me use some more of that anole. Let's put that olive oil on there. There you go. back on here. You want me to grease the pan with some maybe? No, we're going to do another piece of bread. Because that pan's going to just there just for the bread for what you're doing and then we're going to take that bread, that pan, and we're going to use it for something else. So same process, summer sausage. That can stay there. <laughs> oops, oops, oops. Some more cheese. And some more granola. Good, isn't it? I know, but I so rarely do this. But, but it is good. It is good. He even says he's not an alcohol drinker, but the moonshine is the, probably the best moonshine you've had in your life. Yeah. It is. It is. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, I've I've, I've had some at home, and I mean, I wouldn't go with any other moonshine besides uh, besides Dutch's. It's oh, it's good. fantastic. It really is. Pan, kind of like a Cuban. Take it, press down. And if you don't have an extra pan, you could always use a, uh, a spatula, right? Or an iron. Or an iron. Or a brick. Or a brick. Or, or a your iron. foot, but don't do that, because that's yeah. very dangerous. All right, so. So what is the heat that you have your, um, your thing on right now? Medium. Medium. Yeah, but the pan is hot. Fantastic. Same press. Press it on. Press it down. I'm gonna have some more Dutches because this stuff is phenomenal. I've, I mean, this. Uh, you like that stuff. Oh. <laughs> if I could marry a liquor, I would marry Dutches. Hey, listen, I hope that you know the um, it gets picked up in the bar scene. I don't know why they don't have it in the bar scene. I mean, this stuff is phenomenal. You've never seen it in Florida? No, ever, never, never. All right, but you see, I put a jalapeno on mine. I didn't do it to you. Well, thank you for that. Yeah, thank you for that. I don't think you do well with the jalapeno. Well, you know, again, maybe. Uh, Yours has got the cheese, the summer sausage. Yummy, 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 yummy. All right, so I'm going to put these in here. All right, so would you like to try this? Absolutely. All right, let's hit it. A little knife action here. This is mine, because I can see the red. The jalapeno. Yes. The jalapeno. And these would be super great to go to the beach, to go, you know, have a little picnic with your family. I mean, these are so easy to make, and it's, it's these are cast iron, correct? This, this pan is cast iron? Yes, it is. <laughs> so if you have cast iron at home, you can get the little ridges, and like he said, cast iron gives a little bit of flavor. Um, if you guys don't have a cast iron at home, that's also okay because yeah. you can cook it right on the uh, regular metal pan. Yep. And um, it's just, it's a great thing to bring to like family picnics or um, a beach, like a little beach day, you could put some on there. How is yours? So what do you think? So this is fun, to, oh my gosh, it's so yummy. It's fantastic, you know, like I said, go with your family, go with them. If you don't have a family, go by yourself and make a sandwich and go to the beach and just eat it by yourself and then pretend. All right, great. Let's do another one. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're gonna start over here. We have some um, multi-grain flatbread here. Mm-hmm. Do you want a little, uh, do you want a little flatbread? Absolutely. Put some of that vanilla olive oil on that. 
Are we putting it in this pan? Yeah, just put it in there for now, please. Grab another piece. And we'll do it again. Got it. All right, just, just put it in there. In here, or? Yeah, you can put it, yep. In here. Maybe should I put this one in there? Yeah, let's get the other side, too. There you go. So, you could start building your um, multi-grain veggie mite sandwich. So, I am think I'm gonna put a little bit of mushrooms in here. Yes, please. Little bit of peppers. Maybe you might want to hit it with some olive oil. Yes, I will. Some vanilla. Yummy. That's going to be the fresh veggie night. So we just want to basically here, let's take these off. We just toast these things up. Yeah. So torch, torch. You're gonna burn your, you, next thing you know, you're gonna catch on fire and we're gonna cook you. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. All right, so you see, we just wanted just to lightly put a little toast on that. Mmm. Put these back. The bread looks like it's ready. All right, so we'll put these here for now. Mm -hmm. So we can start with what you want to do. So, we're going to take these, uh -huh. put those right on there, because we're going to split this. What do you mean by split it? We're going to make it, we're going to half, you're going to get half, I'm going to get half. Because okay. I'm like dumb, I'm full. I mean, we've been eating all day. Now, you can never eat too much. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> um, cheddar cheese, please, on there. Absolutely. All right, I'm gonna give it a torch. Perfect. Okay. Oh, that looks delicious. <laughs> and a little more vanilla. You can never have too much vanilla. You could have enough food in your day, but you could never have enough vanilla. Yeah. And we like spinach, I'm speaking for you. Oh, I actually love spinach. All right, mm -hmm. so what else can you use with your imagination? We got a few other ingredients You know, there. what I would do is I would put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the top, Very, just sprinkle it very lightly. Um, because you can never have too much cheese, either. A little salt. That's, well, you're, you're taking my move. You're taking no. my salt move. I busted You can't just, that's what I do, man. <laughs> And a little bit more cheese. cheese. Yes, because you can never have too much cheese. Always put the cheese on there, let it melt a little, and perfect. Voila. So let me just clean this up. Get some more room. And we're ready to rock. See what my candy likes with this. All right, so we're ready to try this tasty treat. Like I said, we're gonna do the split. We're gonna get half and I'll get half. Okay. So what would you call this sandwich? Like a veggie mite. A veggie mite sandwich. sandwich. But isn't Vegemite a sauce? It could be a sauce, but it's a sandwich today. Do what you want. Yes. So here, we're gonna do little quarters. Ooh, it looks very yummy. And you know what would be, if it's like you could even, if you guys are at home, you could even put like a pickle in the middle of it if you guys are serving it. A little pickle in the middle. I'll tell you what's gonna make this is gonna be the olive oil again. Mm. Okay. It's like a fancy toasted cheese. A little Parmesan cheese. Mm. Yeah, you know what I think it's missing is some salt. Oh, you got salt right here. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now the next big thing is going to be peanut butter and jelly with one of our sponsors that provides us with this, with this phenomenal um, 
vanilla stick. Vanilla sticks? Vanilla. Mmm. Mmm, English. Wow, look at those. I'm excited to do this. So let me show you. It's called La Fonta. And um, they have a grounded vanilla, which is very unusual. You don't find this just anywhere. They also have ground vanilla. You can see better than me. You're half my age. <laughs> and vanilla sugar. Yeah, you were right. Ground vanilla. So try these products if you see it in the supermarket. Otherwise, you can jump on Flaming Greek's website and um, find out where to get this fine product. So, moving along, you had enough of this, right? Yes. It's also yummy. Everything is good. These are vanilla beans. Vanilla. Vanillas. Fantastic. So what I have here is some cinnamon swirl bread. And also some peanut butter and jelly. Everybody's growing up on this stuff. Who doesn't like peanut butter and jelly? We have some ground walnuts and we have some ground pecans. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start with the same procedure because I love this olive oil so much it just goes with everything. But it would even go with something sweet? Yeah, I mean, I always like to use this from the substitute of butter or margarine mm -hmm. or any of that stuff. Well, the good thing about vanilla is that you can really get a lot of different flavors of olive oil. So if you don't like this one on your bread, you can use a lot of different varieties of yeah. other olive oils as well. That they're also, yes, Spanish. Just a gentle one on this because it's very sweet. All right, so what we have here is the actual um, cinnamon swirl bread. Mm -hmm. Cammy came up with a great idea, and what she's going to do is, is incorporate some balsamic vinegar, and the brand is? Vanolio. And the Vanolio balsamic vinegar has a very sweet taste to it. So I think what we're going to do on top of that is we're going to add a little lafasa vanilla sugar with the balsamic vinaigrette. And we're going to do a peanut butter and jelly. Absolutely, because uh, with this brand, it's just it's so super sweet, and I think it would just be absolutely perfect with right, the peanut butter and jelly. All right, young lady, let's hit it. All right, so this is you. So we got this here. Okay. Should I, um, should I put, oh, yep. crack that open. And then um, just uh, gently drizzle. And we can. Yeah, smear it on there. Let's do a little more. We'll just do one side and we'll test it. All right, maybe you're onto something here. All right, so we'll take this. Now, I'm going to take the peanut butter, generously spread it on there, and we'll take a little jelly. And on the pan. All right, so you can Repeat the process there, please. Now, what do you want to do with these, Danny? Um, these are crushed um, what are those? walnuts. Walnuts? You know what? It might be like maybe sprinkle. So we're going to put them right on here. Yeah, sprinkle like a little bit, a little bit. I'm dying to try this. First time on television, guys. <laughs> um, oh. And a little sugar. It's a little alfalfa sugar. And this is a sugar cane, organic sugar cane. So it's very, very yummy. <laughs> All right. So this is um, ready to do the flip. Nice sear lines on there. Fantastic. Now, I've never cooked uh, peanut butter and jelly on the stove, like actually like this. And I've never done it with balsamic. So with this vanolio, it is the darkest one that they have, and it is so sweet, and it's so delicious. And you wouldn't think that you would put a balsamic on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but the way that this tastes is so super sweet. You might be onto something. So this looks about done. Yes. Listen, it is. Looks great. All right, so listen, you're going to be the one that's going to get the honors here, young lady. And I'm going to cut this up. Now this is hot, so you're probably gonna need something to drink. Okay. 
And there you go. It's very, very hot. It's still very hot. All right, you win. It's actually not bad, you know, because the jelly does and the peanut butter. How does the balsamic? It's sweet. Very sweet. A thousand apologies. I didn't really think it would work. So listen, you know, email us and let us know what you think. We gotta do the Manolio. You can't do any other brand because any other brand it wouldn't taste as sweet as this one. And with the with their brand, it's, it's fantastic. It's so so sweet. Fantastic. It's oh my gosh, it's delicious, isn't it? Listen, I'm with you. Step it in there. It's so good. It's just way different. Mm hmm. So let's recap the three sandwiches that we had. So what we did here is, is that we had some summer sausage, was the first one with some cheddar cheese, and then we did some of that um, French sausage, um, which was great. Um, super this, yummy. Yep, super yummy. And then we um, did this veggie mite, is what I call it, on that um, bread. We'll call it the greek -a mite The greek -a mite The greek -a mite The greek, -a -mite. The greek -a mite All right, with the olive oil. And we also did your concoction of yes. a peanut butter and jelly with balsamic. But Which, it's not just any balsamic, it's vanilla balsamic. Because if you were to just use any balsamic in the store, it wouldn't be the same. This balsamic is super sweet, super yummy, and you just can't have it without the vanilla. So we also had some ground pecans and some ground um, walnuts. Yes, yummy. Very good. Super yummy. And it's almost like it, you, you would think that it's like a sandwich, but you could have like those as like a lunch and dinner, and these are very super sweet yeah, as one. like a dessert. Only if you're going to have one with me. No, you don't want to. Oh sure, I'll try it with you. Go ahead. No, you don't want to dip it because we already put it on there. Well, listen, man. It's also... more. It's more of like a very light grazing. You don't. You don't want to dip it in there. I go out and go. You're right. Just because it's that balsamic, it's it's good. It's very good. Super yummy. So I do it again. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Flaming Greek. I'm Cami, and this is the Greek. Until next time, guys. For a copy of any of the recipes that you've seen on today's program, please purchase the Flaming Greek and Kami Cookbook, a delightful, colorful page photo coffee table cookbook that will have you and your family enjoying these recipes in the convenience of your own home. Cook with the Flaming Greek. To purchase the cookbook, log on to theflaminggreek.com. The price is $44.95 plus shipping and handling. Offer made by the Flaming Greek Production.